Hello, welcome to Cruise Tips and today we're in Valletta with the P&O Oceana. Before we start, number one tip gang, really really important. If you haven't taken a cruise excursion and you're going to make your own way around Malta, Malta, 27 kilometers by 17, looks like a really small island. Be careful gang, the traffic is an absolute nightmare. This island is absolutely full of cars, so if you're going to travel by yourself and you can walk to the bus station from here, it only takes you 10 minutes, you could get caught in traffic. So make sure you leave loads of time. I cannot tell you, the only way to describe the traffic in Malta is chaotic. Now this is handy. This is a map of Laguna Marina, explaining exactly where all the shops and all the restaurants are. So if you are checking in and you are living from Valletta, look at that, that's how close the information is and that's how close the port is. So let's see what you can do by just walking off the ship. There's the ship. I'm going to head this way. So I'm here in the waterfront. Now apparently there's a lift that will take me up to all the main shops. I just need to find it. There we go. The lift is only 150 meters away. And just over there you have the Ponnet in the foreground and the Oceana, p and Oceana in the background. Less than a five minute walk on your ship. That's the, um, the bus stop, it's called the Cruise Port Terminal and that's where you can get your sightseeing tour around Malta. There's loads of buses here. Right, that's the entrance to the lift. And just to give you a landmark, that's where we came from, as you can see there. That's the cruise ships. Probably no more than a five, 10 minute walk. Okay, the information says return trip one euro. You paid a gentleman there, that's what I've done. He gave me my ticket. Here's the lift. Here I go. Tak. Come out the lift. I'm just going to walk straight here. See? There's the ship. Guys, if you get off the ship, right in the most incredible part of Valletta, yeah, right where the um, guns are. What's this, what's this bar called? Upper Baraka Garden. <laughs> and everyone is really chilled out here. Okay. Now, if you're a bookworm, literally around the corner from where I had a cup of coffee is there. Military history books sold here. Okay, that's the um, bookshop where I just came from. If I pan around here, You'll see exactly where we are, how close everything is to the ship because there we have, down there, it's the Oceana. It doesn't matter where you go in water, you're going to find statues. Now this is a statue of Jean de Valletta, 1495. Wow. As I said, there are statues everywhere. Got no idea but there's kind of a feel of Great Britain about this place. I recognise this statue. This is Queen Victoria. And right behind me, this incredible building, this is the National Library. And this building work began in 1776. And so typical of Valletta and the Holden Water you can grab a latte. Now this gang, this is what it's all about. Look at these streets, huh? Look at that one. Isn't that incredible? And here as well. This is the atmosphere. This is the heart of the letter. Amazing. That's the Commonwealth Walkway. Valletta, the capital mortar, was built in 1566 by the Knights of St. John and named the Grand Master Jean Pariso de Valletta, following the victory over the Ottoman Empire in the Great Siege of 1565. This building was erected in 1575 by the Knights of St. John. It really doesn't matter where you go in mortar, in Valletta, there really is so much history, so much local culture. This is in Valletta, the centre of Valletta, and it's called 
St John's Cathedral. Let's have a quick look and see what we can see inside. Okay, if you do want to go in, oh. it's just 10 euros for an adult, oh, and if you're under 12, it's free. If you're a student or a senior citizen, it's 7 euros 50. Now here we have the Grand Master's Palace, which dates back all the way to the late 16th century. Now, someone did tell me that this attraction is absolutely rubbish. Only kidding. Now that really is making me feel jealous. Okay, let's sum up. Right gang, I know exactly what I would do. If I was on a cruise ship stopping at Valletta, I would definitely stay in Valletta. I would walk around. There's so much history to see. There's so much, so many surprises to find. I can never show you in a video. I could never do it in a day. There's just so much. You just walk around and you'll discover your own amazing treasures. And then hop across on the ferry and you go to the port in Salima. It's really easy. But you're always close to the cruise port, yeah? You're always close to your ship. So that's what I would do. I would stay in Valletta and I would explore. Have fun and please let me know how you get on. Hello everyone. If you'd like to see the cannons firing up close, head down to the Saluting Battery Museum. There's only three euros to enter and you can see the cannons firing up close. That's some really important information right next to the cannons. Right here. Toilets. Simple. Just give the guy a tip. One euro, 50 cents, whatever you want to tip him, that's where the toilets are. We'll also have guided tours after the firing today. Uh, that's the Las Cades war rooms. Beneath this very bastion, we have about 40 to 60 meters tunnels deep, about 32,000 square meters. And in Las Cades war rooms, you could follow one of our experienced soldier guides to give you more detail about plotting and radar in World War II.